Well, it was very interesting to do this with Carpenter Company and SleepBetter.org, looking at both pillows and mattress pads of 50 college students. And we found a veritable Petri dish of cooties living in these kids' pillows. I mean, I'm talking thousands, sometimes millions of bacteria, mold, mildew, fungi, you name it, it was living in those kids' pillows. For most, you know, very healthy people who don't have chronic, you know, respiratory problems, it's probably not a big issue. These, these little cooties, they live on us, they're up your nose, they're in your mouth, they're all around us in the environment. But the people who should be concerned are the millions of Americans who have chronic problems like asthma, sinusitis, really bad allergies, of course, anyone with an immune deficiency. Um, they should really take note of this data and definitely we recommend uh, replacing that pillow every year or so. I mean, absolutely, it's really becoming a, a major public health concern for most Americans and college students have some particular challenges where the academics are often more rigorous than they're used to, they've gone away from home, they have new freedoms that they're not quite sure how to handle, which by the way, when you're sleep deprived, you're gonna make bad decisions when you're trying to learn how to handle your new grown up life. So uh, I, I do think they have particular problems and most of them don't even realize that they probably still need nine hours of sleep. Let's you know, have them optimize their sleep environment. Get rid of the pillow you've had since you were four years old. Um, optimize the environment in terms of make sure it's dark and it's cool and it's quiet and that you're not stuck with a roommate that has completely different habits. So that's the first thing. And then I would like to get young people, actually I would like to get all Americans, to take an hour before bedtime and have it be no screens, no, uh, very few electronics. If they do use electronics, it would be things you know, like listening to soothing music, maybe listening to a favorite book on audio um, device, but keep the lighting low and don't use the computer, the TV, or the smartphone one hour before sleep. Well, there is some individual variation, but really this is a bell curve with most adults falling in this middle where they need seven to eight hours. 